Here, Morrison's haul. I did like a Monday evening shop. This is like stuff for the week, but also stuff, a bit of stuff for Christmas, like cheeses and stuff. I just wanted to stock up on just what I could find while I was there. I'll probably do a little bit more of a shop somewhere else to do the fresh vegetables on the Saturday um, or even Friday night, but we'll see what happens. But I spent £72.23, and and I think that's really good because I got quite a lot of stuff. So onto the fruit and vegetables, I got rainbow chard, it just looked really good, so I got that. Um, I really, I love red cabbage, so I got red cabbage, I got some shallots. Some of this stuff I can use for Christmas, it just depends, as in like Christmas day, I might even do red cabbage. Um, I've got a cucumber, I've got some salad onions, sweet and crunchy salad. This is a twin pack, I think it's only a pound. Some red seedless grapes, I really fancy some oranges, so I just got some loose, large oranges. Some broccoli, some little small sweet apples. These are Braeburn apples. Um, they'd be good for Graham and the children because Graham loves Braeburn. Um, some mushrooms, some sweet baby peppers, great for snack snacking this week and next week, whatever. Cherry tomatoes, got some garlic, some of the mixed nuts with shells on, just you know, kind of Christmassy, I suppose, cracking the nuts. Kids love that. Some Maris Piper potatoes, some bananas, and then I randomly got these juices. I was looking mainly at the sugar content and what they actually have in them, obviously. But it's not too bad. Apple pom and pomegranate juice um, with blackcurrant and rubies and hiscabus. Sounded good. £1.47. I thought, you know, just for like a glass of that in the morning would be quite nice. As well as this one, orange, carrot and passion fruit. Again, it sounded good. I think kids will, might try it as well. We'll see. Um, so that's the fresh stuff. So then we've got some yoghurt, I've, I've had this one before, the mango, papaya and passion fruit. Me and the kids can share it, as well as this one, raspberry, blueberry and cranberry. These are about 90p each. Um, I'm doing gnocchi bolognese, so I've got gnocchi, mozzarella, um, and then I thought we could have some garlic dough balls as well. We haven't had them in a very long time. I've got some plain pizza strips. I did get some herby ones from Ocado a couple of weeks ago and they were really nice. So I found these and I thought, oh yeah, i get those because they're great for making homemade hummus, taking out for snacks when we're out for days out at the moment. Um, I've got some deli stuff for Christmas Eve. I do like a cheese deli platter, just, you know, like a nibbly thing for Christmas Eve. So I've got some Italian herb ham, that was 150, and then I've got this one, the antipesto, which is air-dried Italian ham, salami, that was two pounds. Got a couple of cheeses, I'll probably add a couple more, because I want some blue cheese. Um, yeah, there's a couple more cheeses that I like to put in here. So we've got creamy brie, uh, Alistair's favourite is Dutch Edam, Graham's favourite is Wednesday Dale with cream cranberries. I've got a mini camembert, I'll probably get another one of those, but I just thought they were so cute and so small. Um, and then I got a sheep cheese. Never tried that before, just thought it'd be different. And then I also got some rich pourable brandy cream for Christmas Day. The, um, fish food was £2.50, half price, one of our favourites. Clover was a pound each, we used some butter. We've got some snacks for the week, for the kids when we're out and for me as well. So we've got caramel snacker jacks, they were a pound for a pack of four in there. And then the cathedral baked bites, these were also a pound for a pack of six. Six. Uh, little bags in there. I've got some reduced salt Bisto granule gravel, gravy. Not my favourite gravy, but it was only two pounds and I just thought it might be good for, um, I'm doing my homemade gravy, but I do add a little bit of this sort of gravy in it to kind of thicken it. Um, I got some corned beef slices for Graham for like a, a lunch tomorrow when we're out. They were reduced, so I got those. Okay, so lastly, we have got some wheat bisques. Um, Morrison's own obviously and then two for two pounds on the frosted flakes and the shreddies knockoff shreddies I love the boxes they're very enticing especially your kids um some sponge glass for cleaning that's what I like these ones some um towel kitchen towel these were two for two pounds got some wholemeal bread some of these batch rolls for 59p reduced um, some floor wipes and then some original multi-purpose wipes, some pedal bin liners, again needed those. Didn't need these but anyway, they're a pound each. Some caramel nibbles and 12 bites, these are like my favourite. Um, apple and raisin crispy slices, I thought they'd be good for like, again just when we're out. There's a pack of five in here for three in each. These are a pound and then two for 75p, bourbon creams, custard creams. So that is everything.
This is the last item which I forgot to show you. This is just basically like a Christmassy foliage um, thing. I'm just going to put that in one of my skinny vases. It's quite pretty um, for Christmas Day. Just like a you know, centerpiece. So the last of the Christmas food haul, I won't show you everything, I'll just literally show you the food, but Morrison's did have a bit of a clothing sale on as well, which was random, but I picked up a few bits for Alistair. Um, anyway, so yeah, this is just the, the rest of it, what I needed on top. I also needed sprouts, so I got some of just the big pack of sprouts, and then I also found uh, the like purple sprout stalk so I got that as well it's literally the last one left so um, I got that as a mixture of sprouts we've got a bag of carrots two bags of parsnips they're doing three for a pound on the um, vegetables so yeah I, and because parsnips there's never that many in there I thought we'd get two bags of those um, I've got some sage for my stuffing as well as some breadcrumbs for my stuffing I do a Jamie Oliver recipe it's like a chestnut pork sage stuffing it's really really nice and i've done it for the last six years i'll leave it linked below if you want to have a look um so dessert wise honestly i didn't know what to do i have not been in like the the mood to really make anything um or even had the time so um i've just gone graham's mum's bringing something because i'm feeding seven of us by the way so there's three extra people coming graham's mum's bringing some sort of Christmassy thing kind of like a mince meat christmas sort of Tri not trifle, it's like a tart thing that she makes. Um, so I've got custard, double cream, and squirty cream for that, for like anything really. And Violet really wanted the strawberry trifle, so um, I got one of those, that was 250. I also got, I had to get something for like chocolatey for Graham and a couple of other people that are coming because they love chocolate. So I got the Belgian chocolate melt in the middle pudding. Uh, this was £2.50 I think as well. And then I got the chocolate crown. Um, which sounded good. It's got like gold sprinkles on. It's like basically like an indulgent chocolate cake, um, but in like a crown shape. So I got that, and yeah, we've just got a few choices of things to put on it. I got some croissants for Christmas morning. I usually do pancakes as well. Uh, actually, we might have those for Christmas Eve. It's tomorrow um, in the morning, and then I usually do pancakes, bacon, and stuff like that for. Christmas day. I had Violet with me, she was insisting on these. So we got some snowman biscuits, got some part bake um crusty rolls for Christmas Eve dinner. Also uh, a cob for Christmas Eve dinner. I'm basically having a load of cheeses. Um this is the the rest of it which I needed for Christmas Eve. So we've got a pork pie, we've got another one of these mini camemberts. Um blue stilton's one that I didn't pick up which I forgot on Monday prawn cocktail sauce with some prawns, um, olive selection, and then I've got these peppers with stuffed cream cheese, one of my favourites, so, and then I also uh, got these as well, because I think Graham will like these Scottish salmon terrines, so that's basically our snacky um, Christmas Eve, got some bread, got some Pringles, Violet insisted on these, these were a pound each, roast chicken, cheese and onion, and original. Drink pretty much got Buck's Fears for like Christmas morning, Mold wine, my favourite, and I've got rose and I've actually got Prosecco in the fridge as well, and then one bottle of Pepsi. It's pretty much my Christmas haul. I've done it over two shops. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you have a great Christmas and I will see you all in the new year.